Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModernX.com. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Google Nexus 7. This is the new edition for 2013. And from what I'm reading, a lot has changed. One of the top new features is of course the 1080p high definition screen, which is killer on a device that is as cheap as the Nexus 7. We'll go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Of course, first we'll take it out of its sleeve. And then we will cut the tape here. Okay, and then I've noticed that Google uh, made it a little easier to get the actual box open by including those little tabs there. And there is the new Nexus 7. So we'll go ahead and set it to the side for just a moment and we'll see what else comes in the box. We have some reading material. And a USB cable and a charging brick. So not too much in there. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and take off the plastic cover to reveal the new Nexus 7. And right off the bat, I can already tell that it feels much thinner. It probably feels about as heavy as the previous Nexus 7. We have a new more matte feeling on the back instead of that rubberized feeling. Uh, it just feels really premium. It actually feels more premium than the original Nexus 7. It feels more solidly built. So you'll notice right off the bat here, we do have a front-facing camera, which is the same as what we had in the original Nexus 7. And then also you have a rear-facing camera, which is pretty cool. You'll notice that the Nexus logo is horizontal as instead of vertical. Uh, the old Nexus 7 was meant to be used in portrait. The new Nexus 7 is meant to be used more like a traditional tablet in landscape mode. So we'll go ahead and power up this device. So right off the bat, the tablet on first power up, it didn't really let me sign up or do anything as soon as I logged into my Wi-Fi. It went on ahead and received the 4.3 update, so it will include that 4.3 uh, latest version of Android, which you guys all probably knew that already. And as you can see, it's taking that update. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing, and then we'll take a look at the device once it's all booted up. While the Nexus 7 takes its update, we can go ahead and begin discussing some of the specs. Like I mentioned before, it does have a 7 inch 1920x1200 1080p high definition display. That's about 323 pixels per inch. So this thing should be on par with the Nexus 10. Definitely will beat out the iPad and the iPad mini as far as the screen is concerned in resolution. It does include a Corning glass scratch resistant um, it does include a scratch resistant corning glass over the display itself. Uh, Google didn't say whether or not this was like Gorilla Glass, so I'm doubting that it is Gorilla Glass, but it is made by Corning. So it is scratch resistant, but it may not be drop resistant. So you probably don't want to drop this on any hard surfaces. It probably will shatter. Camera in front is a 1.2 megapixel camera with fixed focus. The camera on the back, the camera right there is a 5 megapixel camera which has autofocus. It weighs about half a pound or 0.64 pounds, uh, 290 grams for those of you in the UK. Okay, you'll notice here on the back it does have dual stereo speakers. So you'll have a speaker here and a speaker there. Um, I would have liked to have seen those on the front like with the Nexus 10, but for whatever reason, Google decided not to do the front facing speakers on this device. You do have your 3.5 millimeter audio connector. I believe that's up top. There it is right there. Of course you have your power button, your volume rockers, your USB port there on the bottom. This is the 16 gigabyte version. They have two versions for now, 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. This is all they had at Best Buy and I was buying one of the last seven. Uh, of course, no other stores in the entire city of Mobile, Alabama had any of these on hand, just the one Best Buy store in the mall and it only had seven and I got one of those seven. So these are pretty rare in Mobile right now. Uh, 
otherwise they're sold out in all other stores. And then of course it does have two gigabytes of RAM. Okay, the device does have NFC, but I've also read that it is not compatible with Google Wallet. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. Maybe they'll build compatibility for Google Wallet in uh, later builds or later updates for this device. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. It does have Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity and dual band Wi-Fi, so you should get really great Wi-Fi connections on this device. So we're going to go ahead and boot into the system and we'll have just a very quick walkthrough. Earlier I said that this felt like it was about as heavy as the OG Nexus 7, but I totally take that back. I just picked it up and kind of played with it as I was signing in. It is much lighter than the old Nexus 7. This display is already looking amazing, uh, even better than that original Nexus 7. It, like I said, it's on par with the Nexus 10. For so you guys can see right off the bat just how incredibly fast and smooth it is. And uh, of course, we would expect that considering that it is running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Of course, we mentioned earlier that it does have two gigabytes of RAM, so this thing should be as fast as any other tablet on the market uh, to date. Of course, it is a Nexus, so it includes all of the Google services. You see we've got Chrome, YouTube, Maps, Gmail Hangouts, and the new camera. This is the 4.3 camera. We're not taking pictures of anything, but you guys can kind of see how the settings works. It's on a stack overflow here, and uh, it just makes everything super easy. Of course, that's not the only feature of this tablet that is awesome. Uh, like I said, we are running 4.3. It's one of the only devices so far running 4.3. Of course, the other Nexus devices were updated this week as well. When you purchase this device, you will be one of the first to run 4.3. This has just been an unboxing and first impressions video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Nexus 7, uh, the new Nexus 7, and all of the devices that I cover. Find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll we'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.